Every year, thousands of miles of snowmobiling trails are enjoyed by Mainers and out of state riders. But it's not just about having a fun time. Snowmobiling makes a big impact on Maine's economy. Just today, data from last year's riding season came out showing just that. New Center Maine's Sam Rogers has more from the heart of snowmobile country. As you drive towards Bingham, Maine, it seems snowmobiles outnumber cars. Bingham North is kind of like the gateway north to getting big, nice, wide open groomed trails. 201 Power Sports offers snowmobile rentals, snow gear, and anything you may need to enjoy a great ride. Co owner Mallory Newton even helps out first timers. Expanding its successful business, 201 just opened a second location in Jackman. We've shown growth every year. According to data from the University of Maine and the Maine Snowmobiling Association, snowmobiling generated $459 million for Maine's economy in 2019. Out-of-state riders are a key part of success. Non-resident sled registration has more than doubled in the last 20 years. They can come here and have nice trails and, you know, have a little more freedom. Take it directly from these winter tourists. Up here, you know, you have free range, trails are gorgeous and fast and beautiful. We're up for the week for February vacation, up to have some fun and, you know, rip around. 201 Power Sports isn't the only place in town that benefits. Next door, a gas station gives riders the chance to fuel up and across the street, a chance for a different type of fuel up. North Country Rivers Restaurant is the go-to lunch spot for local riders. This whole area really survives on tourism and recreation. According to the Maine Snowmobiling Association, the snowmobile industry provides more than 3,000 jobs a year, allowing Jeremy Papa and his staff to work year-round and stay busy. This whole town comes alive. On Fridays, you can see hundreds of trucks and trailers driving north. Hundreds of trucks and trailers all swarming in on the sled triangle. In Bingham, Sam Rogers, News Center, Maine.